Hello, welcome you all back. Now, I hope you must have enjoyed the explanation I've given for Newton's first law of motion. Let's see what is second law. The expression force is equal to mass of the body multiplied by the acceleration. All right. So we get this expression from the Newton's second law, which means I'm going to explain you why uh, I don't have a football currently, but still, assume a football. The mass is lesser, maybe less than a kg. Right. I'm going to accelerate it. That is, I'm going to kick the football. So the force applied by me is directly proportional to the mass of the football. So the force applied will be very less. Suppose I'm going to kick this wall. The mass is infinitely high, which means I don't know the mass of the concrete wall. So when I'm going to kick the wall, it's going to be, the force applied is going to be more. So obviously I'm going to break my leg by Newton's third law, which we'll see in the next video. So I will explain what is the force required or produce a, to produce an acceleration. Just we'll see a simple example. Let us assume this a car, and I'm running out of gas in this, so I don't have fuel. So I have to push this car. All right, in this direction. Now, let us say the car is a ton, that is 1,000 kg, and I require an acceleration of 0 0.05 meters per second square. Since it is acceleration, we have to note the unit, it is meters per second square. It's not velocity. All right. So we know the mass of the object, that is mass is equal to 1,000 kg, and the acceleration required is 0.05 meters per second square. So the force required to push the car in this direction by me will be 1,000 into 0.05 kilograms meter per second square. This is the force. That will be approximately 50 newtons. So, this is the Newton's second law of motion, and I have attached an animation which explains the Newton's second law of motion. Thank you. Let's understand the Newton's second law of motion by visualizing this animation. We always know that we give the expression force is equal to mass into acceleration from the Newton's second law, which means to accelerate a body of heavier mass, the force required is also more, which means the force is directly proportional to the mass of the body. So, if we require to accelerate a body of mass lesser than the heavier one, the force required is also lesser. So, some unconsciously, everybody knows that heavier objects require more force to move the same distance as light object. And when we see the animation, a person kicks the football. It's fun for him because the football has a comparatively lesser mass. So, the force required to accelerate it is very less. But see a person kicking the heavy wall. Ouch! That aches because the force required is more because the mass of the wall is also more. This essentially states and explains the Newton's second law of motion. From the Newton's second law, we'll get the definition of force 2. But to summarize the Newton's second law of motion, when a force F acts on a body of mass M, with acceleration A is produced. I repeat again, when a force acts on a body of mass M, then acceleration is produced. Also, the greater the mass, the force required is also greater. 